welcome in here to the Harry Lumley Bayshore Community Center on top of the J.D. MacArthur Arena for the very beginning of the Junior B lacrosse season. The Owen Sound Bug Juice North Stars start their Junior B season tonight as well as the Wallaceburg Devils who will travel here today for their first game of the season as well still waiting for their home opener. We'll go to Fred Wallace for the player intros and we'll come back for a little bit before the game. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's game here in Owen Sound at the Harry Lumley Bayshore Community Center and J.D. MacArthur Arena. Tonight's game, we're welcoming the Wallaceburg Red Devils against your Owen Sound North Stars. My name is Nick Kennedy and I'm joined by lacrosse legend Steve McCarthy. Yeah, a little bit of an overstatement, <laughs> but appreciate the thoughts. We love to flatter our, uh, our team here. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're looking forward to a great game today. This is our home opener, season opener. So uh, stay tuned for, I think, a fierce matchup. Hey, Steve? Yeah, I think uh, I'm sure both teams are excited to get going. Uh, opening night for at any level is always exciting. And uh, I'm sure it'll be a little helter-skelter activity to begin with. And uh, But hopefully we settle into a, an entertaining game. and a, Hometown win. Absolutely. We love having your expertise here. Looks like our teams are lining up here for the opening face-off. The center there, we've got Ethan Kerr taking the face-off for the Yellowstone North Stars. Excuse me, Elliot Thompson. And the early whistle as the ball goes up and out of play. Looks like we're going to have a redraw. I think... Uh, the ball got caught in both of their sticks and ended up somewhere in the score clock. So we're going to do it all over again. All right. We've got Ethan Kerr facing off against Braden Sands to start out this game. All right, and that's going to be a Red Devils possession. A pass in and a shot and a great save there for Owen Sound. That's going to go all the way back down to the Red Devils zone. Goalie looks out and passes to a defender up the court. Well, we got a bit of an undisciplined play there by the offensive uh, lefty there. Took a shot at the defender's head and gonna sit two minutes for the penalty. Not the way you'd want to start a game if you're Wallaceburg, but Owen Sound looking to strike first here. Yeah, penalties 200 feet from your net are generally frowned upon, so I'm sure uh, 
coaching staff won't be happy with that one. And we're seeing some strong ball movement here from the North Stars. Moving to the top of the end. Great shot, a better save. Owen Sound fighting for possession. Able to retain it. Tyson Morrison looking. We've got a pass up top. Down near the crease. Had a wonderful shot just wide of the net. And it's going to head all the way back down to Owen Sound zone. There's going to be a race for it. A big swing. Owen Sound retains possession. Number four, Sean McMahon up the court with the ball. A shot clock violation there, so that's a tough pill to swallow when you're on the PP. Power play is about half over now for Owen Sound, and they are finding themselves defending. Nice work along the boards. The ball comes out for Wallace Bird. Get an attack, and they knock it loose. Here goes Owen Sound racing after it. it looks like we're going to get a change of possession here. And Owen Sound's going to go for a quick change. Carter Morin passing back and forth. Down low, back up. Morin with it again. And he's going to shoot. And there we go. We've, we've got our first goal of the season, number five, Jordan Cochrane. Yeah, that was a real nice feed from uh, Carter Moran there. A quick stick down the crease. And uh, looks like he might have caught a bit of the goalie and uh, but slid her in. So nice, nice way to start the first power play of the season. Excellent work from Owen Sounds. That's how you want to capitalize on an early penalty. Take a draw, and that will be sent all the way down to the Owen Sound zone and off the netting. So we're going to get a change of possession here. 93, Will Lewis takes a look. They're going to cycle the ball back up top. Down low to Moray. And a shot up high. Going to be a save from Wallaceburg. The Red Devils are looking to race the ball up here, trying to catch Owen Sound on a change. Yeah, the offense on uh, on Wallaceburg, a little slow getting on the floor, and Owen Sound did a great job shutting that transition opportunity down. And looks like they're going to call a change of possession. Yeah, they look like they had... Too many men on the floor, and uh, in an offensive situation, that's only a change of possession. Only on a defensive situation do you get penalized. A shot from Moran, and that's going to be saved. Mason Jacobs in net for the Red Devils, being tested early here this afternoon at the Bayshore. Smith with the ball. Breaking through defenders, is able to find a pass up top. No shot given. Great defending from Owen Sound. That's Noda Hopkins with the shot, and Owen Sound now heading back up the court. And they're going to drop the ball. The Wallaceburg picks up possession. Back up the court they go. Yeah, you want to take care of the ball in transition. Those unforced turnovers are uh, they're just eating your time of possession. You certainly don't want to you know, have any unnecessary turnovers. Myers White Eye with a high shot. Oh, and Sound will pick up possession with a long pass. Unfortunately, unsuccessful. The Red Devils with possession again. Some good cycles. We haven't seen the Red Devils be able to set up a cycle game too much here. But here they go. And there's a goal, number 93. Ty Myers. Yeah, it was a big shot from the outside, but certainly, uh, again, Owen Sound is going to want to challenge those outside shots and, you know, take away that, narrow that gap, take away time and space, and uh, 
eliminate that, make them come inside and get their scoring opportunities. See a replay here, takes the pass, sees the lane, right over the shoulder, hard shot. Thompson hoping to win this draw and give the North Stars their lead once again. He does win it, but not to any defenders. We've got the Red Devils with the ball again, setting up that cycle play that worked last time. We'll see, uh, all right, Owen Sounds. Unable to pick up the ball, Red Devils go in behind the net. And looks back door is not able to make it happen. Owen Sound with the ball, looking for a long pass here. Sends it over the head of Moran. Able to get possession here. Fighting hard, holding on to that Next. ball. And a bad turnover there. He's got, he's got room here. And off balance, just isn't able to get a shot away. Looking for a pass right now. Morlog passes it back. Number 77, Hopkins again with it. Throws it across, back to Hopkins. Takes another shot, and there he goes. Here we go, that's almost a carbon copy of the first goal. Long shot from the perimeter, and again, we, you know, you're gonna wanna snuff those out best as you can, and uh, again, make them work harder for their opportunities. Owen oh, Sound striking first, but unable to stop the Red Devils' attack here. Thompson at the draw. And up into the scoreboard. We'll get a change of possession here. Tyson Downs now with the ball. Looking around, they're setting up their play. And a shot from up high. They're gonna get a save. And the Red Devils with the ball, drops it there for a moment. Gives both teams time to change. And we've got the goal scorer taking a shot. It's gonna bounce right up. Only a few know where it is. On the ground he goes. And he's going to take a chop right to the hand. Yeah, again, that's a bit of an undisciplined penalty, but uh, the defender, in this case, did an outstanding job stepping up and uh, blocking that shot, which is uh, you know, no easy feat. That ball hurts, especially when it's six inches from the release point. But uh, not only did he stop the scoring opportunity, he drew a penalty in, in doing so. so. Owen oh, Sound looking to strike again on the power play. Moran now looking to quarterback this play. They're going to send it back to him. He's going to pass it back and forth here. Down low. They're going to send it across a backhand pass. Back up to Moran with the shot. Just wide. They're going to pass it across, and a big shot saved by Mason Jacobs. Yeah, good ball movement there, but again, a lot of uh, static movement. Not a lot of feet moving, making, not making the defenders have to move out of their box. A strong rush up here from Wallaceburg. They're able to drop the ball, but they pick it up again. Owen Sound looking to stop them here. Own sound with the man advantage. So Wallaceburg not pressing too hard, just holding on to possession here. Own sound sending it back up. Moraine with the ball as the attackers come on onto the court. McMahon to Moran down low. Back up to McMahon. A bounce pass. Cross, and that's blocked by Wallaceburg. They're going to take possession. And now they are almost in alone here. A little bit of a size disadvantage there. But he's going to be able to out-muscle. Yeah. 
Looks like they'll have an opportunity to hang on to possession and kill the rest of this penalty. Hopkins just holding on to that ball, killing as much time as he can. Well, he can't quite reach it. He's able to get to it. And sound now back up. Well, we should get a transition opportunity out of this. The odd man rush. Got McMahon taking a shot, and that's going to be saved. One sound retaining possession. Back up top and looking at that five hole, not quite able to get it through. Wallaceburg picking up possession and heading back up the court. Morlog now with the ball. He's just going to keep it high. Owen Sound doing their best to turn it over. We're going to get a stoppage here. Yeah, the one official inadvertently called an over and a back, but the penalty had expired, so uh, it should be a reset in a Wallsburg possession. Oh. Both teams looking strong to start this game. Wallaceburg with the ball up high. Owen Sound pressing and a great save. Owen Sound looking to pick up possession. They've got it. They're up the court now. Oh, man. A strong hit there. Owen Sound keeping possession. Great pass out. Moran with the shot. Another save. Owen Sound able to retain possession. Yeah, that was a real nice ball retrieval there. Tyson Downs sending it back on up the court. They're going to go down. We've got a shot there from Cochrane. Another save. And a battle in the corner here. Both teams looking for possession. Owen Sound looks like they're able to come out with it here. And Wallaceburg now with the ball. Both teams still battling for possession here. And Wallaceburg is going to win that battle at the end. Taking their time here, letting their team get back on the courts. Hopkins now with the ball, looking to just take a quick shot. And great save. Owen Sound. Now McMahon with the ball. Playing this slow, using his team around him. And now send it down low. Ooh, got to reset. Able to get it and head in. Ooh. Great save in tight. Another save. This one's going to head back into the Owen Sound zone. They are going to race for it. Goalie comes out of his net, tries to make a play. Miles Plater going to be tested again, it looks like, in a fantastic hit. Elliot Thompson making sure that Wallaceburg knows whose <laughs> building this is. Yeah, that was, a, that was a big hit on the follow through of the shot, and uh, he'll be feeling that for a little bit. Another big save by the goaltender. He's, uh, after a couple of suspect long shots, he's uh, played well. Wallsburg now with the ball, passing it around up high, and deciding to take another long shot here. They're really trying to test Plater. Wallsburg is going to retain possession, resetting that shot clock. We're going to have a stoppage. Wallsburg will continue to have possession, and another high shot coming. They've sensed blood. They're going for it again. Owen Sound struggling here to get possession of the ball. But they've got it and they're up the court. Morrison in. Tries to go up and over the shoulder. Not quite able to get all the power on it. And Wallaceburg now with the ball. Rainey up the court. Waiting for his team. We're going to see here, are they going to continue to try this high shot? 
They're going to cycle. And Slater stands tall, able to get possession back for his team. And sound with a long bounce pass. And they're going to play this one down low. Up top for McMahon. McMahon now, great shot. And Wallaceburg back up the court. Passing off to Aller. We're going to get another stoppage and a turnover. North Stars are going to get taken down. That's Morrison able to keep possession. Great strong play there with the ball. And a great goal there from Owen Sound. Jordan Cochrane able to get it back door. That's another great quick stick down on the crease by Jordan. You know, it's, uh, he's showing a pretty sweet pair of hands there this afternoon with both goals. Coming very, very similar on, on both quick stick shots right on the crease. No hesitation, just catch and shoot and tie her up here. Great plays, a drop pass there. Doesn't think about it. Thompson at center, wins the draw. Owen Sound able to get possession. He's gonna turn around, wait for his team. We'll pass that up to Moran. Moran looking around. And he'll pass that across. Back down to Moran. High shot and a save. Wallaceburg now with the ball. Yeah, Mason Jacobs has done an outstanding job uh, coming out at the top of his crease and taking those uh, long shots away. So uh, I think Owen Sound's best opportunities are going to come again inside, get the big man moving, and... Uh, you know, as we've seen in both their goals, right down by the crease. Well, they're fortunate to get that call back on a crease violation. So here we go, a little transition opportunity. Owen Sound now sending the ball in, not able to catch it. He's going to go down. That's knocked off a little bit, but they're going to fix that and keep this going. Wallaceburg now looking for an outlet pass. Is able to find it. Noah looking for a teammate here, looking to make a play. And that's going to go up and out of play. And they're going to call it a Wallaceburg ball here. Yeah, it was off the defenders, number 16, off the sort of the back of his elbow. And Hard shot there from Smith. Wallaceburg retaining possession here. Red Devils looking for a shot, another high shot. But Plater proving to them it's not going to come so easy anymore. My shot's going to go up off the glass, out of play, into the stands. Somebody's going home as a souvenir. <laughs> Owen Sound bringing the ball up. Waiting for the attackers. They're going to look for that high cycle again. No shot available, so he's going to pass it down into the corner just over the head of Morrison, and it's going to go back up into the Owen Sound zone. They're going to retain possession, and they're going to set up that cycle play again. Down into the corner, cutting across, taking a shot up off the glass, and they're going to get a change of possession. And the North Stars go off. The defenders come on. Yeah, the only sound of the offensive players have done a great job getting off the floor and not allowing any transition opportunities today to this point against uh, Wallaceburg. And Ty Myers is going to send that in. Off his teammate in the back of the net. Yeah, that was a nice feed. He did a good job sneaking in behind. He uh, really uh, 
feathered that pass through, uh, and uh, nice finish. JC Morlog taking that pass, and he's going to do a quick touch, flip it up over the shoulder of Plater. Yep, just a nice quick heady back cut, and got all the opportunity you need to put it home. Owen Sound taking possession here. Cochran with it, sending it down. Too many men violation there on offense. They started with six guys, so uh, a little turnover. And, and we want to cut these unforced errors out. Some of these early season jitters, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it's been a pretty, uh, pretty well played game. Not a lot of mistakes, just uh, some of the mental errors, and hopefully they'll flush themselves out. Red Devils now in the attacking zone. Owen Sound defending nicely. They're going to send a high pass up and another long shot. Plater, wonderful save. Owen Sound now sending the ball all the way up. Moran into the crease. Not able to get the shot away that he was looking for. Owen Sound holding on to possession. Back to Moran. Going five hole, unable to find an opening. Well, that's a couple big, big saves by me. Mason Jacobs there you know, against uh, Owen Sound's most dangerous shooter. Owen Sound taking all sorts of abuse in the corner there. Wilkins able to get the ball out. The shot on net. It's going to result in a save and a change of possession. Red Devils now back up the court. We've got the goal scorer with the ball now. Looking to make that two for himself this afternoon. And they're going to send an errant pass into the corner. Owen Sound now with the possession. Owen Sound waiting for their team. McMahon now in the white helmet with the ball. Playing the high cycle game. McMahon looking. He's going down low. A shot into the crease, and we've got a goal. Owen Sound, number 93, Will Lewis. That was a great pick and roll set up there, and uh, again, a nice finish. All three goals have been scored by lefties down close to the crease. And for the big goalie like Mason Jacobs, you want to get in and make him move. You know, it's tough beating them from the outside with the long shot. So, you know, they've done a good job in the when they got it in tight to put it by them. They just need to. Uh, Keep working that ball around and get more opportunities. Lewis able to catch him off balance, and Owen Sound is going to win the draw. It's going to be a quick turnover. A shot into Plater, able to make the save late in the first period. Looking to go into the intermission tied or leading, but they don't want to be down. Top Myers quarterbacking this play. Aller with the ball, sending it across to Myers. Another long shot. Aller's. Well, only sound got caught. Ball watching and not picking up that Lucy, giving another 30 second opportunity to Wallaceburg here. Myers down low. An errant pass, though, unable to make any sort of connection with his team. Myers with the ball again, though. Back up top for Smith. The big shot. Right into the chest of Plater. Red Devils with the ball. And just wide of the net there, Owen Sound's going to take possession with the final 32 seconds. They're going to be able to get a shot off, and they'll have to stop a brief attack from the Red Devils. Yeah, I would suspect they're going to hang on to the ball until late, late in the clock before they, so they don't give Wallaceburg any more opportunities on the offense. A long pass there, and he's going to get in. He's going five hole again. Owen Sound with possession, resetting the clock. They can hold on to this now, but they yeah. smell blood. And a deflection off of Wallaceburg, unable to find any sort of opening. 
Well, it's a pretty even match, you know, so far. You know, the Wall of Spurs been getting, uh, getting their goals, two of the three for the outside, and all three of Owen Sounds have been inside. So uh, I would think that the coaching staffs will both be happy with uh, how that went. Both teams looking to break this tie. Both teams as well. A few things to work on in the second period, and I think we'll see what the coaches say, and we will see you all again after this short break. Uh, you know, taking up some space and a, just a perfect shot. And we got a tie ball game. Nice low shot right around. Right around for I'm Krista McKee, and I've been volunteering here at Rogers for approximately five years. I worked at Grace Sabo Conservation Authority for approximately 34 years, and I was the community relations coordinator. So I had kind of a thumb on the heartbeat of Gray and Bruce County and the jurisdiction that Grace Sabo Conservation Authority had. As a community relations coordinator, I ran a day camp, worked with many community groups in helping them achieve what they were trying to accomplish in the community with um, environmental projects. I was asked to take part in Wandering Grey Bruce with Rogers TV. It was a new show that was started by Darlene and Mark. And I was really excited to be part of it because I was able to bring what's keen in Grey and Bruce County to the people in their living rooms. Because a lot of people can't get out and see what's in our wonderful counties. Lovely viewers, it's your host of On The Couch, Antoine El Hashim, reminding you to tune in for every episode of season nine of the longest running and most loved local queer talk show on Rogers TV. Check it out. Welcome back here to the Harry Lumley Bayshore Community Center. I'm with Calvin Stewart. Calvin, how is it going tonight? Home opener, season opener. What is it like tonight? You know, it's great to have all the guys back. Still missing some guys, but just a great group of guys to get back together and play a game that everyone loves. Yeah, you're actually, I think, missing your brother. I don't know if he's on the team this year, but I know he was on the team last year. The Stewart family obviously ingratiated in the culture of lacrosse here in Owen Sound. What is it like to play in a family that plays across? Your brother plays senior, older brother plays senior B, you and Braden play junior B. What's it, what's it like playing here in Owen Sound? You know, Owen Sound is a lot, like small town, a lot of families. You know, it's, you don't exactly get too many different people in this, and it's great to see that grow within families. Now, tonight, tied 3 3 with Wallaceburg. What do you feel like is going on here tonight against the Devils? Um, you know, a couple of lapses there. Like, I lost my hand there at one point, just lose accountability. And, they keep um, being a little too aggressive and take some penalties, and we should just beat them on the scoreboard that way. Now, Carter Moran is back. I see a couple other your top scorers out here tonight, like Dom Millman. What is it like having some other guys having to step up without a guy like Millman necessarily in the lineup? That's it, right? Like, we got a bunch of guys on here where they finally get a shot here, and you got to really see who has it and see who steps up here now. Well, Calvin, my last question here for you will be an easy one. Who wants the final score here tonight? Oh, always in favor of us. Always in, always in favor of us. like the answer. Thank you so much, Calvin Stewart of the Owen Sound North Stars. We'll be right back with the rest of your first intermission coming up next.
Volunteer Week, and at Rogers TV, we recognize our volunteers' amazing contributions. While creating compelling local programming, Rogers TV volunteers learn new skills, share their experiences, and through their actions, support each other and build friendships, all while shining a spotlight on our local community. Thank you, Rogers TV volunteers, for your continued engagement. Being stuck in your home during this pandemic also means you have a home. Waiting in line for groceries means you have money for groceries. The isolation, being broke and totally scared about what's next. I was feeling that before this crisis. People say we're in this together, but me, I've got no one. Youth who have aged out of the child welfare system are in danger of falling further through the cracks because of today's crisis. They need your support. Please give today at helpyouthnow.ca. Rogers presents the 2023 East Coast Music Awards live from Halifax on Thursday, May 4th, starting with the red carpet at 6 p.m., followed by the award show at 7. The East Coast Music Awards on Rogers TV. And welcome back here to the Harry Lumley Bayshore Community Center. 3-3 is a tie after one between the Owen Sound North Stars and the Wallaceburg Devils here in this season and home opener for the North Stars. For a quick summary of the first frame, here is Nick Kennedy and Steve McCarthy. Hello, everybody. Welcome uh, to the audio booth. I'm here joined with Steve McCarthy. My name is Nick Kennedy. We're uh, looking at that first period. Steve, uh, if there's something that Owen Sound can work on here to break this tie, what, what would that be? Well, I think they need to clean up their uh, transition opportunities. Uh, they, uh, one of their unforced turnovers uh, inadvertently led to a, a secondary uh, opportunity for Wallsburg, which ended up in the back of the net. Uh, they had two or three uh, situations back to back to back where they gave up uh, you know, control of the ball. Uh, they want to clean that up. Uh, you know, they've done a good job moving the ball on offense. Uh, they want to keep going to get inside. The, both goaltenders have played outstanding so far, and uh, they're both big guys. They should be hard to beat from the outside, and you shouldn't, you know, you're going to have to work to get inside and, uh, and uh, use the stick skills around the net. And you know, Owen Sound did so on three occasions, and uh, they got to keep that going. Absolutely. Yeah, both goalies looking strong. I know Jacob's probably looking for a couple of those back, maybe to move a little bit quicker. and. Once he gets some of this off-season rust off of him, and I think Plater as well, looking to stop a couple of those long shots where he's got the got the look and and just finding a way through them. I'm sure he'd like to have a couple of those ones back. Yeah, I'm sure he would. And again, I think on the defensive side too, they again they need to narrow the gaps. They need to take that time and space away. There's a couple of guys that they've now seen uh, for 20 minutes that have a tendency to shoot early in the shot clock, not be too concerned about uh, using that 30 and. Uh, so take that away and make, make them earn what they get. Don't let them, uh, you know, pump, 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 and let them rip. Uh, you know, make them move the ball and uh, give your defense an opportunity to take over and uh, transition and, and move it up the other way. Well, we'll look forward to see what uh, Owen Sound has for us in the second period, uh, led here by last year's leading scorer. We've got Carter Moran. He's, he's just been incredible tonight. Yeah, again, he's a highly skilled guy. Um, and, you know, you can tell he does a great job running the power play. I think uh, Wallaceburg keys on that. They're kind of taking his shot away from the top. But, you know, they've been, uh, been pretty good at uh, adept at moving the ball around and getting their opportunities. So, uh, you know, anytime you have a guy with that kind of skill level, you're certainly going to want to take advantage of him. Absolutely. Well, we're going to go to break here. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We're going to be back in a few short minutes with the second period. My name is Mary Jane Murray, and I've had this wonderful opportunity to volunteer for Rogers TV in various capacities for about five years now. 
I have loved working with all the folks. I love working with the other volunteers and the personalities and the characters that come along with that. Um, but also, um, it's a community service. And I think that it's really important to have uh, people who are truly interested in their community volunteering with Rogers. And um, why, how I would highly recommend it. You have the opportunity to grow with yourself, to grow into your community, to see, to see and meet new people all the time. And um, volunteering at Rogers can give you this wonderful sense of belonging. Don't forget to tune in to Gray County Life on Rogers TV next week. We're going to be talking to Emily B. about the Ginkgo footprint and her peonies garden. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for the second period here at the Bayshore Community Centre. Coaches are taking the bench now. All the coaches on their way out. And here come the Owen Sound North Stars looking to break this battle. How are they going to find a way to beat Mason Jacobs? Well, I think this period you're going to have an opportunity for both clubs. You, you're defending from the furthest point from your bench. And teams that can hustle on and off the floor should be able to take a better opportunity in transition. And uh, this could be a key period for either team to... Uh, to get some quick strike goals and transition opportunities if they uh, if they work for it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to give a big thank you to Pizza Hut, who's sponsoring today's uh, crew refreshments. If you would like to uh, contact Pizza Hut, their number is 519-371-5660 or visit them at www.pizzahut.ca. Thank you, Pizza Hut, for providing for us this afternoon. Owen oh, Sound here now lining up for the draw. Thompson doing well on the face-offs this afternoon. Looking to keep that streak alive. Wallaceburg picking that one up. Somebody, oh, Thompson is going to go down. He's holding his hip. And yeah, he might have taken a shot there just off the drop, but uh, yeah, just another bump and bruise. Looking smart after the game. And Wallaceburg being given a ton of space up top is happily going to take that long shot. Owen Sound with the ball. They're going to move it on up with a long pass. Able to catch that and bring that down was Tyler Morrison. Looking across, finding a teammate up high, back to Morrison, and he's going to look for a shot. Gets tied up, passes it down over the shoulder, but a big save there from Jacobs. Morlog now running with the ball, getting tied up a little bit and drops it. Goes right through an Owen Sound player, and they're going to call that. Oh, and sound possession. Oh, and sound now with the ball up the court. And they're going to look to cycle it. Here's a long shot just past Jacobs. And that's going to go all the way down to the Owen Sound area. Wallaceburg looking like they're going to get there. But the goalie, Plater, showing that he doesn't just stop lacrosse balls but he'll stop players if they get in his way oh nice leg save there it looked like he gave up part of the net and uh, laid that pad down to make the save Owen oh, Sound now with a long pass looking to catch Wallaceburg on a bad change it's a two on O, oh, and a great shot there from Sean McMahon yeah there we go they, they did a great job again of taking that transition game up a notch uh, virtually a two on O oh there and uh and he made no mistake getting inside, making a nice move and burying it. McMahon is going to bury those all day when Thompson can get him a wonderful pass just like that.
Thompson now lining up for the draw against Wallaceburg. A little bit of confusion here about where they're lining up. And they're going to call that Wallaceburg possession. Yeah, neither draw guy has been real clean today. A lot of uh, possession awards rather than clear-cut wins. So I'm sure that's another aspect of the game they'll clean up as the season goes on. Intro with the ball now, able to walk right into the crease. Still with the ball behind the back. Smith down low. shot is going to miss. It's going to hit the wall and go all the way back down. Going sound now. McMahon looking low. They're going to send that across. Shot from the side. And that is a save on the goal line. Not able to find its way in. Red Devils now heading back up the court. Oh, and sound great defense there by Tyson Morrison. Red Devils now cycling the ball low. And another shot here, and another save by Plater. Cycling behind the net. Red Devils look to turn, and that's going to go out high. And another high shot there off the backboards, and that's going to go down onto Owen Sound's bench. Joel Coughlin now with the ball for Owen Sound. He'll send that down to Lewis and across. Back up top. Across and a high shot from Owen Sound. Lewis not able to find the back of the net there. Wallaceburg now with the ball. Some defensive zone passes. Wallaceburg now finding an opening in all alone and they are able to beat Miles Plater. Yeah, that was a breakdown. You've always got to be looking off the end of the bench to see when, where they're coming off in transition. That's just a communication gaff. And uh, again, you just hate to see uh, the club give up an easy one. Just make them earn everything coming their way. So clean those up. And uh, here we are, 4-4 and on even. Thompson now on the draw. Wallaceburg able to push it forward, but Owen Sounds picking up the possession at the end. And a one-handed pass there to Owen Sound. Looks for a pass, tries to hold it up, drops the ball. Is able to retain possession. Owen Sound across now. North Stars with the shot. That's going to be saved by Jacobs. Owen Sound able to pick up the ball again. Bodies falling over bodies, but Owen Sound with the ball. McMahon now. Taking a high shot, looking to bounce that one in past Jacobs. Yeah, again, that's a little ill-advised being uh, with that much time left in the shot clock, but no. Nope. Morrison unable to get that pass. Picks it up and shovels it down along the boards. The Red Devils now with the ball in Owen Sound zone. We've got a broken stick on the play here. So he drops that and heads off to the bench. Mitch Stevens now. Another down stick. Oh, we get another undisciplined Wallaceburg penalty. Offensive player grabbing the defender's stick. Uh, generally, that's the other way around is the way they do it, but uh, he'll serve two minutes in the sin bin for Taking an unnecessary penalty. Well, Calvin Stewart said it well. He said, if they're going to take those penalties, we can beat them on the scoreboard. So let's see here how Owen Sound responds, being up a man once again this game. Nice high cycle here from Owen Sound. And 
And we're going to get a shot from McMahon, and he beats Mason Jacobs. Again, real nice ball movement. Little skip pass from the crease up to the shooter on the other side, and uh, he made no mistake. That was a nice job of ball movement, getting the goalie just to be uh, having to move throughout his crease, losing his position. Doesn't take care of that outside shot, and uh, it's uh, well done. Well, it sounds saying if you're going to take a penalty, we're going to take advantage. Thompson lining up now for the faceoff. Wallaceburg shovels it back, but Thompson able to get possession, flips it up off the boards. Wallaceburg hitting it forward. And Owen Sound now with the ball. Nolan Gerard. And Owen Sound going to cycle this ball down low. We'll bring it up high here. Moran making some passes. And in the zone, unable to get that to go. The shot clock violation there. So again, they did a good job though, getting off the floor, letting your D get in there and shut any kind of transition opportunity off. Red Devils now with the ball. Some passes, looking to make an entry point. And Owen Sound, Plater gonna pick that one up nice and easily. Owen Sound transitioning up the ice here. Tyson Downs now with the ball, looking to make a play. Shot clock half gone already. McMahon down low. And a shot there from Owen Sound just wide. Yeah, that was a real good look. Good ball movement. Finding gaps in the defensive zone and uh, get a great opportunity. Down sending over to LeMant. A low shot there from McMahon. They'll send that in, gets out muscled. Mm -hmm. Footing's a bit of an issue here, so. <laughs> it's not able to come up with the ball. Everybody's slipping around right now. McMahon takes a shot, able to get his own rebound back up to the top to Joel Coughlin. Behind the back pass there, down low. Owen Sound looking to bring it up top here. Unable to catch that ball. He's gonna have to battle for this one. And Red Devil's gonna come up with possession. A long bouncing pass, Owen Sound just does not see it. Red Devil's now with possession in the North Stars zone. Hopkins with the ball. And Plater with a huge save. He yeah. needed that one to keep his team in this. That was a real nice slip pick. Gave it a great scoring opportunity and uh, another big save by Plater. Now that's going to be a stick to the head. No call on that. Moran now with the ball. Well, it's a bit of an errant pass there. Going to give something to come back the other way. Red Devils now looking, waiting, playing this one slow. Red Devil's gonna take a long shot. Mason Myers White Eye thought he saw an opening. Wasn't able to convert. Reese Parker now up top to Vintra. Down low for the Red Devils. Owen Sound doing a good job at locking down that long shot. Giving Plater lots of time to see the ball and make a good save. Parker across in the zone. A, a rebound shot, and Plater is going to stop that one. Owen Sound now all alone, and he's going to get tied up before he can take the shot. Tyson Morrison, he'd love to take that one back one more time. Yeah, he's got to be aware of where, how far back he can hang his stick on that breakaway. He just kind of handed it off. Looking for a backdoor pass was the Red Devils there. Owen Sound looking to get possession again. The Red Devils not happy with that call. Long pass there. And Owen Sound picks it up in the zone. He takes the shot and it's in. Yeah, that's a great hustle play. 
Picking up that Aaron shot off the backboards and uh, that's a well-deserved goal. Everest Lahome Wickens with his first goal of the season. For a young guy, he's gonna remember that, that goal. We get a little water break here for the goaltenders about halfway through the game. And uh, again, both well-deserved. They've, they've both uh, been exceptional. Had uh, either one of them faltered, it could be a, a tilt to score at this point, but they're both holding, holding the teams back in. Absolutely, Owen Sound up now two goals. Plater looking a lot more confident this period. And both teams coming back from their break now. Red Devils are gonna look to respond here. Owen Sound hoping to extend this lead. Face off now at center, Thompson lines up. Thompson wins that back, Owen Sound with the ball. Stop there, is able to get possession of it again. Downs looking to make a play, falls over. Red Devils are able to get possession there. And they're gonna call a penalty here. Oh. Red Devils, they're able to get back within one. JC Morlog, a long pass and a in tight goal there. Again, that's, uh, those are those opportunities you just wanna shut down. It's uh, regardless of the delay penalty coming up, uh, that was kind of a, Easy walk in from 70 feet, and it's tough for the goaltender to, to uh, make good on those saves. Thompson now lining up at the faceoff. Wins it back again to Owen Sound. And he gets bowled over. Able to hold on to the ball, though. Excellent work. Owen Sound with possession now in Wallaceburg zone. Sound looking for a pass in tight. Moran now with the ball down below the net. Comes out in front and he scores. Owen Sound is going to retain that two goal lead. Number five, Jordan Cochrane with the goal. And again, that's Jordan's third, third goal of the game. All three of them have been from the inside. Not a lot of messing around with the ball. He gets it in the stick, he lets it go, and again, he's rewarded. So. Uh, you know, he's having a stellar game, and uh, no doubt it might be his first hat trick in the, in the OLA Junior B lacrosse loop. Well, congratulations to Jordan on that play. Thompson now. And Owen Sound looks like they jumped the gun a little bit, so Wallaceburg is gonna get possession here. In tight, no pass, big shot, and a, a great save off the shoulder of Plater. And again, two more outstanding saves from inside. He's had a whale of a game, and hopefully he can keep it going. And Owen Sound is gonna make this a three-goal lead. Sean McMahon with the backdoor reception and shot right out front of the crease. And again, Excellent work. Outstanding uh, work in transition. They got the odd man opportunity, and uh, you know, for the most part, they've owned the transition game this period. And when you get that long change, that's something you always want to try to uh, do a better job than your opponents and give yourselves uh, opportunities that aren't necessarily going to be there on the five and five half court game. That's Travis Morrison finding his way onto the score sheet with the secondary assist. And we're going to have another timeout here. Yeah, I think Wallaceburg just needs to take a deep breath, focus on what uh, what they've been doing well. They have been getting their opportunities uh, this period. They've done a better job in transition than they did in the first period, but they, they haven't defended it as well. And, uh, you know, they're up against a goaltender that's having a whale of a game, and they're just going to have to uh, do a good job on their possessions, not have any turnovers, 
to allow Owen Sound to keep excelling in this transition game with 10 minutes to go here in the second period. Rob Pollock for the, the Wallaceburg Red Devils, head coach, not looking too concerned at the moment. Lots of time on the board for his team to come back. Yeah, I mean, a two-goal lead in lacrosse can uh, evaporate rather quickly. So, yeah, there's no time for panic. It's probably a good time to call that timeout. You're going to get two in the game, I believe. So uh, that was probably a good time to use it and settle the troops down. And lots of lacrosse left here. All in sound now. They're going to lose possession of it to Wallaceburg. Wallaceburg looking for an opening here. He's going to run all the way in. He's going to take a shot, and the net of his stick flying right off. He's going to have to go and get that fixed now. Yeah, somebody didn't put a screw in their head. <laughs> Time to get the electrical tape out and make a minor repair here and get back out there next time around. Maybe a good time to talk about the team sponsor, Kruger Custom Steel. Might have needed a little bit extra there in his stick. <laughs> North Stars now with the ball. Along the boards, he's able to send that out to Joel Coughlin. Also having a great game, passing the ball well. Owen Sound looking to cycle it up top. Down low. Great passing game here from Owen Sound. Shot is just a little bit wide. Lewis will want to work on that again. Wallaceburg. And excuse me, the lead, 8-5. A three goal lead for Owen Sound. Wallaceburg now with the ball. They're staying a little bit wider. Owen Sound getting a little more aggressive on the defense here. And Owen Sound's gonna go. And we've got a shoving match there behind the play. Calvin Stewart, our interviewee from the first intermission, finding himself on the floor. And Owen Sound is gonna go back to the power play again. Yeah, another undisciplined penalty by an offensive player when they're in an offensive possession. You know? Uh, you know, so far this has been a, a trend, and I'm sure, again, the coaching staff will be a little disappointed giving up offensive opportunities uh, in a selfish manner. Oh, well, Sound looking to capitalize again. McMahon with the ball to Moran. Off the top of his stick, he's going to have to run. Able to get back. Gains possession, being pressured there by number 33, Reese Parker. But a pass up to McMahon. McMahon sends it in. Owen Sound down low, not able to connect on the pass. Able to pick it up. Yep. Two left in the shot clock. Well, good job, good job, good job getting it on. Owen Sound with the ball again. Out, down low, across, trying to look back door, nothing there. Good, good movement from the goalie there. Defense responding well. Cycling the ball up top and trying to get a shot there underneath the arm, able to get his own rebound. McMahon now. And Jacobs is there. And a fantastic shot by Moran going five hole. But the goalie able to get his paddle there. Wallaceburg now with the ball. Looking to attack shorthanded, but Owen Sound up with it. No real pass outlet for him. So he's just going to take this up, take his time, play it slow, and use as much of the clock as he can. That was great pressure by McMahon in the in the back check, just forcing a bad pass in transition and get that ball back. Uh, you know, within 10 seconds of turning it over. So outstanding effort. Martin's over to McMahon, back to Martin's up top. Down low, a no look pass. And he's going to send that off the side of the goal. Lewis looking aggressive with those shots. Not finding the back of the net as often as he'd like to be. Owen Sound now with the ball. Wes Grant. We've got 10 seconds left in the power play here, so it's still lots of time to set something up and take advantage of it. Downs looking to quarterback this. Behind the back pass. And he's going to take a quick shot. 
And that's not that. what you want to do with that little bit of time the guy coming out of the box. We're lucky that uh, they didn't pick up on that easy transition opportunity. There's a guy 70 feet from behind. And Owen Sound providing almost no sandpaper on that play. Red Devils are going to find their way back into this game rather easily. Yeah, that's a tough one to give up after you're coming off the power play and have a couple good looks. And, uh, yeah, they just weren't very prepared in that situation in transition and uh, gave up a relatively easy goal. Ty Myers looking strong out here today. Yeah, he's a big body. He's got some good skill. You know, if he could ever improve his foot speed, he'd have an opportunity to certainly play at a higher level. Got him downs with the pass back to downs up top. Hard shot off the defender. And now Wallaceburg getting hit, but holding on to the ball. Falling down, able to hold on to the ball. Still with it, Owen Sound trying to knock that ball loose. He's down again, North Stars with the ball on the way up, not a clean reception. Over to McMahon. Not hard to miss with that white helmet. Down low. Moran with the ball. No look pass across. Wickens looking to make a play down low. Lewis unable to put that one in. He's hungry. He wants one. Moran looking to try to beat the goalie there. And Moran with the ball up top to McMahon. McMahon looking. Takes the easy pass into the slot. And a great shot there from Owen Sound. Number 22, Everest, Lahome, Wickens. Wallaceburg gonna take the ball down low. A one-touch pass and a great save by Platers. Oh, another big, he didn't know where that was, but he slid across the crease and took that away. A great positional save. Owen oh, Sound now with the ball. They're running it in. And a last second knock. Tyler Morrison loses the ball. Owen oh, Sound down on top of it. Morrison picks it up. Looks around. Sees a wide open Moran. Sends it across. And Coughlin's going to send that just a little bit wide, but he's going to pick up his own rebound. He's only got one player to work with and not a lot of time left. So they're going to. Lose the ball there on a shot clock. And Wallaceburg back the other way. Barnes now across. Up top for Wallaceburg. And a bounce pass there. Wallaceburg using all of their muscle. Takes a shot and a great save by Platers off the toe. Wallaceburg now with the ball. Hopkins looking for an outlet, takes a long shot off Plater. Another save. He is looking strong tonight, going to collect that ball for his team. And they're just going to transition this back up the court. And that's just an undisciplined penalty now on Owen Sound, the first of the game of this matter. A little love tap on the way to the box and uh, served no purpose other than earned himself a deuce. Not the best way to follow up a goal against the uh, Red Devils. Looking to make this a one goal game. Cycle play here from Wallaceburg. Behind the back, down low now. Back up top. A fake long shot over to Hopkins. They're going to send the ball back down. And a huge save from Plater. And now we've got a breakaway. Owen Sound not able to pick it up. Doesn't have the speed to make that happen. No. Nope. Outstanding play by Wallsburg. They set that up, hit the cutter coming through, and uh, again, just uh, Plater made an outstanding save and uh, kept this uh, a two-goal game. Owen Sound killing as much time off this penalty as they can. Very happy to play this along the boards. And doing a great job at doing so as well. Shot clock violation, so they're going to lose the ball. But they kill about 30 seconds off the clock. Wallaceburg now. Transition play. 
Thinks about the long shot, decides to go to Hopkins. Back down to Myers, over to Hopkins. And they're just gonna play catch with this. And they're gonna try to find an opening here from Owen Sound, looking for somebody to overcommit. Hopkins with a low shot, unable to make that happen. Shot clock violation, so Owen Sound is gonna pick up this ball. And Inaloni scores, number 21. You know, Wallaceburg was a little bit mixed up on that play. They thought they still had possession. Uh, they were all setting up in the offensive zone and uh, Owen Sound took advantage, walked in on the breakaway and made no mistake. Thompson winning draws and now scoring goals. And looking at that replay, they might have had a, a beef there. It looked like it went off the goalie's elbow out of play and uh, should, have re should have been Wallaceburg ball, but uh, hey, you got to pay attention and play the whistle, look which way the referee's pointing and uh, take your cues from there. Owen Sound will take that one. Happy to. And they will regain possession off the draw, still short-handed for 27 more seconds. Owen Sound running it up. And they're gonna try to kill some time here. Turned over to Wallaceburg. Wallaceburg going up with a long pass off the backboards, unable to come up with it. And Owen Sound again with the ball. They're gonna try to finish up this power play with possession, or rather this penalty kill. And a big pass, that's gonna be caught by Wallaceburg. Even strength now. Wallaceburg twisting, turning, looking for a pass, finds one in the slot. And he's gonna put that one right by later. Another goal there from Ty Myers. He has had a fantastic game for Wallaceburg today. Yeah, he's definitely, definitely been a force. I mean, uh, early on the game, showing off a couple of big shots on the outside. And, you know, and he's also uh, showed that he can bury on the inside with a nice cut and a terrific feed. Thompson now. And Wallaceburg's gonna pick up possession off of that faceoff. Yeah, Wallaceburg's done a great job on the draws, either winning them outright or getting uh, Owen Sound to, to uh, turn it over early on the referee's whistle. Uh, Long shot there and great save from Plater. Owen Sound now with possession. Looking for a pass outlet, is able to find him, takes a shot and he goes off the post. Calvin Stewart. Had an opening, just not able to find it. Wallaceburg now, one shot away from making this a one goal game. They're gonna cycle it up high and another long shot. It's gonna go off the back of the net. And Owen Sound's gonna get possession. Well, they're gonna bring that back to the crease to start the possession over. Sound, passing it back and forth. On his way up is Travis Morrison. We've got a great shot there from Moran. Better save from Jacobs. They're fighting for it. They want it. It's out in front of the net. And Jacobs able to find it first. Only a few seconds left. Oh, and Sound doing what they can to Create traffic in front of the net. Maybe get under the skin a little bit of the Red Devils here this afternoon. And he's going to take a stick right to the cage. Red Devils with the ball. They're going to send it up high. Myers looking, taking a shot off the leg. And Sound just trying to make it to the end of the period, and they do. And a late slash there from Owen Sound. It's gonna cause a little bit of a scuffle, not too much. And Owen Sound's gonna be happy to head to the dressing rooms up by two here after two. Yeah, again, I'm sure the coaching staff is overall for both clubs is pleased. Uh, it's been a, a pretty controlled game. I mean, the skill is uh, 
Been good on both sides. Not a lot of errant passes. Not a lot of brain cramps leading to mistakes. Uh, you know, not not outside of the ordinary anyway. So, yeah, I think both both clubs will be happy. I'm sure Owen Sound at this point is a little happier being up after two. But uh, there's certainly uh, lots to look forward to for both teams. And a, a one goal either way to start the third period could be a real key here. Going into our break, Owen Sound, nine. Red Devils, seven. We'll see you after this break. Uh, you know, taking up some space and a, just a perfect shot. And we got a tie ball game. It's nice low shot right around. Right around for It's Volunteer Week, and at Rogers TV, we recognize our volunteers' amazing contributions. While creating compelling local programming, Rogers TV volunteers learn new skills, share their experiences, and through their actions, support each other and build friendships, all while shining a spotlight on our local community. Thank you, Rogers TV volunteers, for your continued engagement. Hey, Gray County, think it's too late to become more fit? Think again. I'm personal trainer Karen Ross, specializing in 55 plus fitness. My mission is to help you find your way back to health and wellness. I'll give you the knowledge and the power to take control of your own fitness path. Everyone deserves quality of life for their entire life. Tune in to a little bit fit with me, Karen Ross, right here on Rogers TV. What kind of show do you want to see on Rogers TV? What interests you? Log on to RogersTV.com, fill out a show proposal, and tell us about your segment idea. We want to know what you want to see. Rogers TV, only on Rogers. And welcome here to the Harry Lonely Bayshore Community Center second intermission. I'm here with head coach Mark Cochran. Mark. Good period by you guys, up now by 297. What did you like from your team's play in that second period? I think just the level of compete in the second period. I thought it was a little better than the first. Uh, having said that, they got uh, two transition goals. It's harder in the second period when you got the long change. So that might explain the, the transition goals, but we got to tidy that up a little bit. You did have six goals in that second period. Do you think that did uh, happen because you guys had the short bench going towards the Wallaceburg net and obviously not including that snafu of whatever happened with Wallaceburg not playing defense on the penalty kill? Yeah, I think that uh, the transition on the second period works both ways. I think we did probably a little bit better job than they did, but either way, it still needs to be cleaned up. Yeah. What's it like having a guy like Carter Moran back? Led the team last year in goals, was top two in points last season. What is it like being able to have a kid like that come back this year? Well, I've coached Carter for several years. I've had him in minor. Um, what I like about Carter is he anticipates probably better than most guys on the floor, and that's both teams probably, and that's the strength of his game. You know, that's something you can't really teach, the anticipation piece, so it works. Yeah. yeah. If there's one thing you think your team needs to be able to win this game in the third period, what would it be? I think remain disciplined like we are. We've had one penalty so far. If we can remain disciplined and uh, worry about the back door, we've got to pick them on, up on the bench when they come on. We didn't do that in the second period very well. I think we tidy that up. I think we come away with a victory. Well, last question, pretty easy one. What's the final score at the end of this one? Uh, let's go 12-9. Uh, 12 9 Owen Sound, I hope. Okay. Perfect. Me too. Okay, yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much, Coach Cochran of the Owen Sound North Stars. We'll be right back with the rest of the second intermission after this. Hi, I'm David Shearman, host of Politically Speaking on Rogers TV. Join me for my next show where my guest will be the warden of Gray County, Brian Mill. Politically Speaking on Rogers TV. So as a retired person, I certainly enjoy volunteering for Rogers, but I also have lots of great hobbies, and I have three grandchildren that come and visit me very often, and they live locally, which is wonderful. I think when you volunteer and you start working in front of a camera, you have to have that ability to think on your feet and always have an open mind and a caring heart because you really don't know sometimes what you get involved with and how to handle it, but it's um, 
true, truly a growth experience volunteering. I enjoy coming back every year to Rogers to volunteer because I'm able to tell people's story and I'm able to either possibly promote their business or show you something that's right in your backyard that you never knew was even here. Never be afraid to step out of your, out of your, your character. You always need to try something new and expand your horizons. Uh, you know, taking up some space and a, just a perfect shot. And we got a tie ball game. Nice low shot, right around. Right around. Welcome back here to the Harry Lumley Bayshore Community Center. Nine seven in favor of the Owen Sound North Stars over the Wallaceburg Devils. For the rest of your second intermission, here is Nick Kennedy and Steve McCarthy. Well, thanks so much, Spencer. I'm here again. Uh, we want to talk a little bit here about this second period. Uh, Steve, what did you see? Well, again, I think uh, what Mark Cochran alluded to during his interview with Spencer, uh, they were uh, they took advantage of some opportunities in transition, but they gave up some, which they probably like to cut out and, uh, again, make uh, make Wallaceburg earn every opportunity. Don't, don't hand them anything. Uh, they play very good discipline uh, where Wallaceburg has faltered at, at times and taking some unnecessary penalties. You know, Owen Sound, I think he's only taken one, and again, that was an undisciplined nature penalty. So if they can keep that uh, trend going, they should bode well in the third period and, uh, you know, and take advantage of everything that uh, they get given to them. Great thoughts. Yeah, those penalties that are uh, 200 feet from your own net, they, they just never really help your team. So No, they're generally a ticky-tack, little retaliation, you know, jabs with the stick or something. Typically doesn't hurt too much, uh, certainly not long-term, and... Uh, yeah, it generally just puts you, you know, breaks momentum in a couple of situations where Wallaceburg had fought back, made it a one goal game. They turned around, took an undisciplined penalty, and uh, the score went right back the other way. What's the one thing that Owen Sound needs to do here to hold on to that lead? I think they need to do a really clean up their own transition, moving the ball out of their zone. Uh, you know, again, no unforced turnovers. Make sure you get an opportunity to play offense every time you take possession of the ball. Uh, that, that'll work in your favor with the clock. You know, utilize that clock. Nothing early, uh, no outside shots that are of low percentage early in the clock. Uh, you know, just keep moving the ball around. Wallsburg's playing from behind, so they got to take chances. And, uh, you know, if you play the controlled nature, uh, you know, keep your possessions in hand. Uh, you know, that, that, that'll work in your favor. Wallsburg looking now not only to play against Owen Sound, but also the clock. Ladies and gentlemen, we will see you again soon right after this break for the third period. Owen Sound up by two and looking to take this one home. Lovely viewers, it's your host of On The Couch, Antoine El Hashim, reminding you to tune in for every episode of season nine of the longest running and most loved local queer talk show on Rogers TV. Check it out. It's volunteer week and at Rogers TV, we recognize our volunteers' amazing contributions. While creating compelling local programming, Rogers TV volunteers learn new skills, share their experiences, and through their actions, support each other and build friendships, all while shining a spotlight on our local community. Thank you, Rogers TV volunteers, for your continued engagement. Welcome back here to the Harry Lumley Bayshore Community Center on top of the J.D. MacArthur Arena. 
third period just about to start. The Owen Sound North Stars up 9-7 to seven on the Wallaceburg Devils and a great second period for those Owen Sound North Stars. And they got six goals to put themselves up by that two-goal margin. To get you ready for the third period, here is Nick Kennedy and Steve McCarthy. Well, we're back here at the Harry Lumley Bayshore Community Center and J.D. MacArthur Arena getting set now for the third period. Owen Sound looking to extend that lead. Devils looking to close it. We'd like to thank Pizza Hut one more time here. If you'd like to call Pizza Hut, that's 519-371-5660 or visit them at www dot pizza hut dot ca thank you again pizza hut for providing food and refreshments to all of our crew here at the bayshore community center red devils now taking the floor Yeah, I think the first goal of this period is gonna gonna be a big one. It can be uh, real deflating for Wallaceburg, or uh, or really uh, get them back in the game and make it a one-goal game. So, you certainly, if you're uh, if you're Owen Sound, you'd like to strike quick and uh, and sort of have Wallaceburg doubting they're gonna have time to uh, do much about it. Absolutely, Owen Sound taking an extra minute here around their goalie. Thanking them for some of those incredible saves that we saw in that second period, really holding the stars in this one. Yeah, he's he's had an outstanding game. He's certainly, uh, you know, if you looked at Jordan Cochran with his three goals and uh, some fine play by some other offensive players on Owen Sound, but if it wasn't for their goaltender, it would be a it would be a different story. Thompson and Aller lining up for the draw. Red Devils trying to spur their team on here to victory. And possession is going to be awarded to the Red Devils. Ellisburg with the ball. Has a lane, tries to make the long pass in. He's got a drop stick on the floor. Owen Sound now transitioning up the court. Moran with the ball. Lots of room, lots of time, lots of space. And he shoots and he scores through the five hole. Yeah, he had a little top spin on that shot because I think it bounced between the wickets, might have hit the stick, and uh, eventually found its way over the line. And, and not by much, but uh, it doesn't matter by how much. Uh, that's, again, that's a big goal. I think it's a three-goal spread, and uh, the score within the first 30 seconds of a period is uh, quite a momentum builder. That's that goal you were talking about just moments ago. Owen Sound striking first in this third period. Yeah. Mm. And now the Red Devils with an equal opportunity. They take a shot and a great save there by Plater. He is going to will his team to a victory this afternoon. The Red Devils cycling the ball up high. For Stegen, unable to come down with that one. Owen Sound is going to pick it up. And up the court they go now. A two on one with a trailer. Great passes. And Moran is going to put that one in again for his second of the period. Again, outstanding bounce shot to the far side. Didn't have much room to put it there. And a, a well-placed shot. And again, well executed in transition. Well, we knew that first goal was going to be deflating, but we didn't think that we would see two from Owen Sound in the first minute of this period. Thompson now lining up for the draw. And Sands is going to come up with that for the Red Devils. Red Devils now taking their time. They don't want to make any more of these mistakes, so he's going to look for a solid pass. He'll take some chops there. Turns away from McMahon, runs up the floor, has a lane, shoots five hole, and he is going to beat Plater. Yeah, that was a great individual effort. I mean, he, he beat his defender wide and was able to cut to the net. and. Uh, a well-placed shot, and uh, again, it's uh, Wallsburg just keeps coming back. Kalen Smith 
with the goal for the Wallaceburg Red Devils. Bringing his team back within three. Thompson taking another draw for Owen Sounds. Again, just another undisciplined penalty here. Unneeded, not near the ball no, after I mean, a whistle. I mean, Ty Myers has been a force to be reckoned with, but uh, in regards like to what he does on the offensive side here, he uh, can't afford to be taking penalties. Oh, it looks like they're going to be taking both of them here. And we may be looking at a little bit of four on four action. No, it's going to be an Owen Sound penalty. No, they both got him. Oh, they're both gone. Right? Four on four, Wallaceburg sending that one in. Plater coming up with it. And he's going to toss that up the floor to Moran. Moran on his way up. No lane for a shot this time, but a great pass. He's going to go down low, a one-touch shot. And they're going to give the ball to Owen Sound here. Down low. Yeah. Owen Sound now with the ball. Yeah, you just don't want to disengage there and just move the ball. That's just a, an ill-advised uh, play there. And Wallaceburg. Up with the ball now, takes the long shot. Plater getting in the way of that one. Doesn't hit him though. Wallaceburg cycling in front of the net now. Tries to shoot between his legs, isn't able to get that one to go. And Owen Sound now up with the ball. A big hit there from Wallaceburg though. And they're gonna take the ball back into the Owen Sound zone. Looking to close this game to within two. Another long shot there from Wallaceburg. Plater coming up huge for the North Stars. And he's going to lose possession of that one. North Stars trying to get it. They're able to get there in time. And he's going to cycle up the boards. Calvin Stewart looking for something. Not able to find anybody yet. So he's going to send it back out top. Not able to receive that pass cleanly, but coming back into the zone. And Lewis unable to receive that pass clean either. They're going to get a shot clock violation. Wallaceburg now with the ball. Back up to Morlog. Looking to see what he can do here. Great ball control there from Morlog. Owen Sound trying to solve this problem. And they're going to pass it around up top. Myers out of the box now. Takes a shot. Owen Sound going to come up with it. And he's got a long pass outlet, not gonna take it. He's gonna opt to run it up the field. He's looking. Pass down to McMahon. Back up top to Jordan Cochran. And now Moran with the ball to Cochran. Cochran's looking. Oh, getting the illegal pick on the far side off ball and gonna turn that ball over to, to Wallaceburg. Maybe a little bit of jitters here from Owen Sound that are trying to close this game out. It can be difficult to play from a lead. You're trying not to make a mistake here. And the Red Devils with urgency. Owen Sound now a two on O. Oh, Moran unable to take the pass. They'll retain possession down low. Holding out, waiting for his team to arrive. And he's going to pass that one on over. And Lewis with the shot. Long shot. Not quite hard enough to beat the goalie. Owen Sound fighting along the boards, trying to come up with this. And we're going to get a penalty as that ball goes into the stands. Rather, just a stoppage in play. Owen Sound looking, Moran now with the ball. Up top and a long shot. Not able to solve the goalie on that one. Brace Martin going hard into the boards, then onto the ground. Still able to hold onto the ball, taking chop after chop. And they're gonna take Wallaceburg on that. Yeah, again, just another undisciplined penalty. I mean, this is, uh, it's 
been the story of this club all game, and uh, they're going to put themselves in, uh, in peril of going down by uh, a four if this power play is just that. Oh, he took a four minute as well, so this doesn't, uh, this doesn't bode well for any kind of comeback in Wallsburg uh, at this point in time. Wallsburg not going to be happy with that penalty at all. Maybe a little bit of nerves here, trying to play from behind. Moran now looking with the ball again. Back to McMahon. A shot off the defender. Moran now with the ball. He's going to send it wide. Good cycle play, good ball control. They're going to take their time. They're playing with the lead. They don't need to play this one too quickly. Back door. And he's going to try that one-touch shot again. Wallaceburg now with the ball. And a big hit there along the boards. They got a 10 second violation, so it'll be a turnover and, and uh, the power play shall resume. A little bit of jostling along the boards, but now McMahon with the ball. A little lift over to Moran. Moran looking to pass this ball around. Down low. Back to McMahon. Not looking to rush this one. Moran with the shot right into the goalie's glove. Yeah, again, not a lot of movement. You know, they're moving the ball on the perimeter, but uh, if you're not going to move your feet, the power play is going to be less successful otherwise. Moran and McMahon teaming up there to get a good stop on the Red Devils. These two love seeming to play together. McMahon now, down low. Back to McMahon. Moran with the ball. McMahon with the ball. He's going to send that low, and they're going to shoot over. Lewis unable to solve the goalie on that one. Jacobs with a high pass out to his defender. And he's going to take this Again, one Again, it's a violation. A 10-second violation, so uh, here we go again. McMahon do a better unable. job at the lackadaisical pass and just turn that ball over one more time. So. And here go the Red Devils. Not in alone, but he's got a lane. He's going to take a close shot. And a great save there from Plater right into the basket. Well, Wallsburg's just like successful killing off the first of the first half of the double minor. So uh, they're keeping themselves in this game, but Oh, and Sound with the long shot. Moran able to jump and receive that one. Behind the back pass from McMahon. Cochrane back up to Moran. And a low shot there off the defender, up into the netting and out of play. So Owen Sound will receive the ball again here. And they're going to pass that one out high. Cochrane with the shot. And they've got a long ball that's going to go right up into the netting around the scoreboard and come down. That'll be an Owen Sound ball. Moran now with the ball. Over to Coughlin. Back to Moran. To McMahon. Down low and unable to come up with it. Moran finds it. Over to Cochran. And that's going to go off the post, not in. Great shot from McMahon. Beats the goalie, but can't beat the medal. Red Devils now looking to play a man down. They don't have time to waste in this game. And that ball is going to go all the way back off that shot. Both teams making changes here. Owen oh, Sounds attackers coming out. Red Devils defenders out on the court now. Owen Sound cycling the ball up high well. And no shot there. Moran now looking. 
His lanes are getting taken away, and that shot's going to go off a defender. And it's going to result in a, a weak shot. It misses its target. Owen Sound, though, comes up with it again. Moran looking to quarterback something here. Trying to put this game away for good. And they're, they're back even strength, so he's going to look for a long pass. Ops to run up with the ball. Red Devils with a lane right to the goalie, and they're going to score. Number 16, Sean Glover Noah, goes from defending a PK to a rush all the way in, uncontested. And he's going to put that one past Plater. Yeah, that was a great individual effort and uh, a tough way to end an unsuccessful four minute power play for Owen Sound. Uh, he's going to drop that ball out of the air and send that through the five hole, bounce it up and into the net. And we got some referees time here to allow the goaltenders another little hydration break. And again, well deserved at both ends of the floor. They've, uh, you know, we've mentioned it time and time again, but it's, it's worth noting. Uh, these guys have both been in mid-season form. You know, some of the players on the floor uh, maybe still kicking off the rust, but the goaltending's been outstanding. Absolutely. Wallaceburg with a huge four minute kill after two early goals from Moran. Jacob's able to shut the door. Defenders blocking shots, getting in the way of balls, hitting their, their sticks out of the way. Great defending. Owen Sound still up by two. But the Red Devils here playing with some passion. They're gonna find a way through Owen Sound here. Make it into their zone. Owen Sound giving them a bit of a hard time here. But he's going to be able to cycle that around his team, and they're going to take another long shot on Plater. He's seen it a few times tonight, and he's going to turn that one away quite easily, but in close. And the Red Devils with a backdoor pass up over the shoulder of Plater and in the net. A little bit of pushing and shoving as this game is now a one-goal game. That was a great goal there by number 11, Mason Myers, White Eye. Yeah, that was just a miscommunication. Number six, uh, Stewart slid up, left his guy all alone behind. Not sure if he tried to communicate a switch, but there probably wasn't any necessity to do so, and uh, left the guy all alone in front of the net, and easy pickings to make this an 11-10 game. Well, a game that we thought was almost put away after a minute of this period has taken a quick turn. Yeah, it's a, it's a game of momentum and it's certainly, it's certainly on the side of Wallaceburg right now. So this is a big stop here. A great save there from Plater with that long shot. He knows it's coming now so he can get himself in position. Wallaceburg cycling this. Looking for any kind of opening. And they're gonna run into a shot clock problem there. And Owen Sound now is gonna take the ball. They're gonna get a long pass up there to Moran. Looking around, he's gonna pass in front of the net. Owen Sound not able to put that one in off the shoulder of Jacobs. Wallaceburg now with the ball. They're gonna run up the floor. He's gonna take a chop there and struggle on his way up. Reese Parker looking to make a pass there. And Owen Sounds getting in the way of that stick. Very good, but they're gonna go after each other here, letting each other know that they're they're both fighting for this win and neither one is gonna come by it easily. So they're gonna run into a shot clock violation. Players saying hello to each other. Welcoming, welcoming Wallaceburg to Owen Sound. North Stars now with the ball. They're going to send that up. Lewis now along the boards. Not sure what to do. He turns back. Good pass to McMahon. Back to Lewis. Lewis has a lane here. And he's going to go low and he's going to score. Lewis right through the five hole. Yeah, that's one that uh, Mason Jacobs might want to have back. But again, great effort when you're coming hard to the net and you're a tall guy like 
93. You keep that stick up high when you take it down low at five hole. It's sometimes hard for the goaltender to read, and uh, that's a huge goal. Make this again a two goal game and break up some of that momentum. Lewis that was heading been... uh, Wallaceburg's way. Absolutely. Around the net all night. Finally finding a way to beat Mason Jacobs on the draw here. Thompson able to win that back. Owen Sounds not able to pick it up. And Wallaceburg is going to get it, and they're going to. They're not able to make a pass. He does have a lane for a shot, and he's going to pass it back door. Not able to receive the pass well, but he's going to take a close, hard shot, knocking down Thompson in the process. Owen Sound. Stewart looking to make a pass. He's able to connect with Cochrane. Cochrane now taking the ball in deep. Back up high for Downs. To a situation where you got four righty O guys out here, so. And they're gonna miss on that shot. Both teams getting ready. And Wallaceburg getting possession of that ball. Wallaceburg looking for a cycle. And they don't have a lane. It goes off a defender. But he's going to get his own rebound on Plater. And Plater with a big save. And that's back in. So it'll go right back to Wallsburg here. Wallsburg down by two. Seven and a half minutes of play. Looking for some way to beat Plater. And they're going to pass right out front of him. And a big save. Off his shoulder, great work. Five second in the crease, turnover again. That's just a, a needless uh, turnover. And it's gonna creep. <laughs> and a big save bails them out. Plater has seen that ball all night. He has been making save after save after save. And keeping his team in this game. Myers now, long shot. Plater again. He's comfortable now. And here we go. Just another undisciplined play by Wallaceburg. Wallaceburg's going to take him down. Owen Sound retaliating. We don't want to do that. Doesn't look like there's any penalties on the play. Just going to be a possession. And uh, I'd say Wallaceburg was fortunate. Nothing wrong with a little bit of passion. No, I mean, they the want... referees have done a great job of letting the kids play tonight, not, uh, not looking to have a parade to the penalty box, but, you know, Wallsburg has to uh, button it down here if they want to keep in, the, keep in this game with 6.21 to go. Moran, a great shot to the five hole. Ooh, and an errant pass is going to go all the way down. Plater's going to scoop that one up, and he's going to send that up to Moran. Moran looking. No North Stars north of him yet. Downs now. Morrison along the boards. Shoved out of it. Cochran looking to get it. Along the boards. Season outlet. Able to find him. Up the court. He's going to break in. And a one handed shot is going to go wide. Tyson Morrison fighting every inch of the way to get that shot through. And again, just a, probably a needless penalty that late in the shot clock. And, uh, you know, almost sound back to the power play with 5.40 to go. And if they can be successful here, a three goal lead with five minutes to go, uh, should bode well for them to staying on top. And that penalty is going to go to Hunter Dalgetty. Two minutes. So Owen Sound now, two minute power play with only five and a half minutes to go, up by two goals. They will take that call all day long. McMahon now sending it down low. A long shot there, off a defender and out of play. Owen Sound now with the ball. McMahon down, 
The ball's low. They're going to cross it over to Moran. He's not able to come up with that. Finds his own, own bounce. McMahon now quarterbacking this play. Behind the back pass. He's liking those ones tonight. He's feeling them, but not able to connect with Cochrane on that one. Moran trying to pick off that pass. Wallaceburg now. They have to battle from a man down. They have two goals to make up in a very short amount of time. Owen Sound picks off that pass. He's going to take one hit. He's going to keep running. He'll slow it down. There's no purpose, no reason to hand the ball over this early. Good work from Ethan Kerr. Slow this one down. Owen Sound with a big shot out front. He picks it up around the back and not able to put that one in. Moran now with the ball. They've reset the clock. Up top, he's going to take a long shot. It's going to bounce. Goalie doesn't know where it is, but he goes down anyways. They're going to call an Owen Sound ball. Yeah, they called back in. I think that was, uh, that was a close call. McMahon sending it across down low. And the goalie's going to come up with that one. Jacobs looking. There goes Wallaceburg, Everett looking. Everett hit along the boards. Tries to pass that to Sands, doesn't find him. Up to Meyer. Down low. And great defending there from Owen Sound, able to knock the stick from the hands of Wallaceburg. And, and Carter Moran just took a tough penalty when you get in the Possession back. They take a late hit. Carter Moran. He's going to take a seat for a couple of minutes, and that is going to breathe some life into this Wallaceburg team that was able to successfully defend a two minute power play against Owen Sound. Now Wallaceburg up for two minutes, down by two, looking to capitalize on this opportunity. Hopkins now with the ball. He'll send it low. Hopkins quarterbacking this play. Going to fake a pass across. Back up top to Hopkins. He's going to send that down to Myers. Myers even lower. Back up to Myers. He's going to take a long shot. That's going to go off the goalie. Rather off a defender. Myers picking that one up one more time. He's going to send a long ball in, but he does not connect there. They're going to run out of time on the shot clock. So Owen Sound. Ooh. And they are going to, just like that, lose their man advantage for just a, an unnecessary play. Wallsburg yeah. back in the box. White Eye's been uh, undisciplined from the get-go tonight. And uh, again, another guy with some pretty good skill, but uh, continuously hurts his club with uh, selfish penalties in the offensive zone. Myers White Eye collecting himself two minutes. We're going to get a shot there from Lewis, unable to beat the goalie. Jacobs now to his teammate. Looking up the floor. Glover Noah waiting for his team. They're going to be four on four for another minute. Long shot there, almost beats the goalie. And that's going to go into the crowd. And they're going to say that went yeah. off the goalie and out. Yeah, he made a kick save there and graced off his shin pad. And, and Allers mm -hmm. trying to pick up the ball. Owen Sound fighting for it along the boards. This is going to be a good battle between two strong players. And some pushing and shoving. Between the benches here, somebody might be going here. They're going to take both of them. Both of them are going. Yeah. 
Oh, sound, not realizing that they got a call on that too, and we're gonna be four on four pretty much for the rest of this game. Holler getting a call, Travis Morrison in the box. These two teams are fighting hard. Well, the little three on three action now for 32 seconds. So. Lots of space now for players to move. Could this be the opportunity that Wallaceburg needs? Again, there was no urgency for Owen Sound to try to get an early shot there. Their best uh, best defense here is to get possession, use up the 30s, and uh, have that clock to their advantage. Myers breaking his way in, and Plater with a big save. All right, referee calling four on four play now. The offsetting penalties are not going to take them down by a man anymore. McMahon. No, no one sound now goes to the power play for 25 seconds. Moran with the ball. And that one's tipped. Moran is able to come up with it. Minute 20 left in this period. Owen Sound looking to slow this game down. Moran with a big shot. It's going to go off the goalie. Jacobs to his defender. Looking up the court, and he's going to hit the screen around the scoreboard. So Owen Sound's going to take a timeout here with a minute and six. And again, I'd be surprised if they even attempt a shot. You know, being up by two with a minute six and five seconds on the PP here, uh, they be, might be uh, best suited just to grind out that 30 seconds and uh, dare Wallaceburg to score two in the last 36 seconds. What does Wallaceburg want to do here to try to break this stalemate that they've had with Owen Sound? Well, you know, obviously the, the, the time is is up the essence, they really need to press the ball here and try to get that ball back. Don't allow Owen Sound to use up that 30 seconds. And again, I'm surprised that they're bringing all five players into the offensive zone. They'd be best suited to uh, move the ball around, spread Wallaceburg out. They may get something that comes of that as well. And, uh, you know, you certainly don't want to see any long shots, give up any transition opportunities. And again, just the, the clock is at this point your friend, so uh, utilize it. And there we go. McMahon now with the ball. Back to even strength. Five on five for the final minute of this game. McMahon with the ball. Down low, 15 seconds on the shot clock. Not gonna take a shot there, realizing possession is his friend. Cochran trying to get open. The shot from Moran. He's gonna pick up his rebound. That there is we go. huge for yeah. Owen Sound. And that's pretty much the death nail into this game now. Outstanding now. effort. Now you can just spread the floor, move the ball around. Again, that's... Wallaceburg picking up the ball now. That's just Meyer. sloppy. And he's going to get hit. Plater with the save. Great defending there from Owen Sound. And Owen Sound is going to get the ball with 10 seconds left in this game. They're going to send it down deep, try to kill the rest of this clock. Owen Sound, they might take one more shot here. They do off the goalie. Two, one. And ladies and gentlemen, Owen Sound North Stars win their home opener against the Wallaceburg Red Devils. Yeah, that's a, a well deserved win. They certainly played with a lot more poise and discipline than Wallaceburg did. Uh, outside of that, they were pretty evenly matched. And again, probably the first and second stars, if there is such a thing in this game, would be. Uh, would be the respective goaltenders. They were both outstanding today. Absolutely. We had a great game there between Owen Sound and Wallaceburg as they line up here for the handshake. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you again for joining us. Stick around as well, and we will have some interviews post-game. We'll see you in a moment.
Rogers presents the 2023 East Coast Music Awards live from Halifax on Thursday, May 4th.